103.8. Jason and Sam, congrats on the film. I have to say, after watching it, I got really angry that the men were treated this way, but then was thrilled that they're finally getting their recognition. When you attach yourself to a project like this that's based on a true story, is there a little bit more pressure to get it right? Yeah, I think there's more responsibility. Uh, you know, usually as an actor, you have uh, free range to create a character when, when, when you get the opportunity. But in this case, we were playing people who really lived and really died. So um, some of them, you know, from old age, um, which which actually goes to show how uh, sad it is that they haven't been recognised until now. I mean, there are, there are a few of the guys who are still, still left, but um, many died without... Um, receiving any, any kind of uh, acknowledgement from from the government or from the army so it's um yeah there was a bit bit more responsibility than usual to uh to make sure that we told the story in the right way yeah i'm assuming you probably met with some of the families or yeah. even some of the soldiers that were still alive when they found out that this was being made what was their reaction um i sat with uh two veterans i was lucky enough john gorman who's been like the the leading man in this whole chase to get these men vindicated um and another guy called noel stanley uh, and john um he probably won't like me saying this but he i think he was overwhelmed i think and unbelievably happy because his this story that was so like he was 17 when he was there and so this story to him was very very important and he he very openly and very honestly and very, like it was tough like he told me a lot of stuff about what went on there and uh, the mentality of it all and it, but I think he like he shook my hand after the first meeting and he just said I'm so happy and he could barely get the word happy kind of out so just that enough was enough weight to know that we were doing something special you know and I think it's I think it's helped um you know, I, I don't know if you've heard, but the, you know, the Irish government has offered a, a unit citation, mm -hmm. which hasn't happened before in history. So, no. um, not in the Irish Army. So, that's that's goes part of the way to sort of right the wrongs of the past. Yeah. Um, but we we still think they can take it further. I think we all just yeah. feel they deserve medals. Medals, yeah. they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the combat scenes in this were mm -hmm. amazing. How long does a scene like that take to film? And how nervous are you filming that? Because you don't want to be the guy that stuffs it all up and you have to take another take. <laughs> there's some occasions where we didn't have another take. So, like, there's, yeah. there was one scene I shot with uh, where the Fuga jet is uh, flying low over the compound and um, I, uh, I'm running for cover and I end up sort of running right in between this, the strafe of the bullets. And so I had to sort of run the gauntlet through these previously laid... Um, pyrotechnics and if I'd gone a little bit left, a little bit right, I could have lost a finger or a toe. Uh, and I was told right before it, uh, listen, we have one shot at this because we don't have time to lay them again or the money to blow them up again. So let's get this right. So um, it was good in a way. It just kind of made you even more nervous and-, and No pressure. No pressure. pressure. It puts the pressure on, but then oh you have to God. just make sure you get it right. And, yeah. and uh, I think we got it right most of the time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's moments like it's, terrifying when there's a helicopter coming at you with a camera mounted in front of it and you have to perform but uh, and there's so many it's like an orchestra of, of chaos and they call action and they go okay guys so like you know we're gonna raise our hands we want you to stop shooting because you're not gonna be able to hear us yeah. and they would call action and it would just like and everything would you so you just have to know exactly where you needed to be and so it was amazing yeah. must help with the acting though because yeah i know you're in this because you guys can act but you know putting on that uniform yeah. and being on a set like that mm. like you must transform just like that yeah i mean uh, you know obviously the boot camp help, helped a little bit um just to get us more familiar with some of the weapons and and for more familiar with each other um, mm -hmm. and uh you know I, I think i think the set as well was kind of amazing wasn't it incredible um, the uh, the Perfina uh, garage, yeah. garage which was in a lot of the, the pictures from the time um, was there so every time we walked on set it was usually early morning dark cold um, it uh, it kind of we felt like we were kind of in it in it yeah immersed in the world yeah I'd say this is a pretty full on shoot so last day of shoot what do you do when you finish up do you go straight home or do you start looking for your next job. Or do you just take a break? I wept. Yeah, it was really hard. Yeah. I mean, we didn't want to leave each other, you know. Yeah. It was, uh, we got very close to each other as a group and uh, didn't want it to end. So um, that, that part of it was hard, you know. Really tough. Yeah. So weird, you kind of get into this very, very 
primal mentality when you have to rely on each other so heavily and you know you're it's like your body almost doesn't know that you're not actually fighting a war because you know you're if you put yourself through the emotion and you tell the story correctly and you're in a real place of stress your body doesn't know the difference between when you're acting or not so when people say well done it's over now you can go home you kind of go oh, oh, um, you know and part of you kind of I guess thinks that you, these guys are your brothers and you are yeah. a soldier, you know. Yeah, the camaraderie. Was, yeah. So you all have a WhatsApp group, yeah, that you... Yeah, yeah we actually do. do. Yeah, yeah, we actually do. <laughs> um, before I let you go, you guys are really, really busy, so you have to keep the WhatsApp group going so you can keep in contact. Um, yeah. Jason, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., congratulations. And Thanks. Sam... He doesn't stop. ...an amazing slate. So yeah. tell me, both of you, how excited you are about the next chapter. Yeah, it's weird for me because um, I haven't had a premiere in ages and uh, it's the premiere tonight of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in, in, in Hollywood because it goes out tomorrow night oh, on God. ABC. So there's like two premieres in one night. Of course, I can only be in one place at a time. Why did you choose this one? Because, <laughs> I mean, this is very special to me. And also, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I don't appear to the second episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I had, I had a good pass on exactly. that one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so so um, it's it's an exciting time. And it's, and it's like buses, you know, yeah, you're waiting for ages, then two come along at once. Exactly. Yeah. And Sam, you've got a really full slate as well. Yeah, it's mad. I kind of, I don't really know. Uh, I shot six films last year, and I don't really know which is coming out <laughs> first. So I just kind of like uh, wait for them to tell me where I need to go and stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, yeah, I mean, it's been busy. I'm really happy, so I'm just looking forward to see seeing how it's received, and hopefully people won't be sick of me. <laughs> Not at all. Well, lads, congratulations. Yeah. Enjoy the reunion tonight. Thanks, Thank man. you so much. Spin 1038. Number one. For music and entertainment.